Robert, this is the third time you play in Paleo. Oui. Do you remember the first time I have a special relation or feeling with this festival? Um, I remember the second time, I'm not sure I remember the first. It was the first time, 85? 85. Yeah. No, actually, I, I, I have a very vague memory. In 1985, The Cure did some festivals throughout Europe, and Palio was one of those festivals that we just... We, we, we suddenly became this band, and it, was like, it almost like happened on stage. We suddenly turned into a band. It's, um, so, yeah, but I'm not sure if it's a real memory. You know, it's one of those memories that you, you wish was true. I felt we were floating when we played those shows, but... Um, it's probably the drugs. I, don't know. I remember 2002 being very disappointed with 2002. I thought we, were, we weren't very good in 2002. We tried quite hard, but we just didn't. I don't know. That lineup of that band was able to play fantastic shows, but for some reason, some of the festivals, maybe it was my fault, maybe it was the wrong set, the wrong songs. You know, just it never really felt that good. <clears throat> it was quite strange tonight, actually, because. Every other festival in Europe has given us a, a minimum of two hours. Most have given us two and a half. Most have given us three, actually. And I, you know, we all felt slightly disturbed by um, by having to just play the set and then finish. But um, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good concert tonight. So I will remember this one. There was the Cure Mania with some people really big fans and mm. new generation of fans and. What is your opinion about them? I think the um, the days of, like, of what you would call cure mania, of, um, are th thankfully, from my perspective, they're gone. I think that only happens if you're um, you can only engage with an artist of your own age in that way. I think to dress like them and, and kind of be like them because you you're living the same life. You know, you kind of you're growing up at the same time. Um, our audience now, I mean, is much more diverse. I, I actually prefer it, I have to say. Although I would because I'm older, you know. It would be fucking weird if people were still dressing up as me. I mean, you know, there's only room for one of me at my age. Um, but it's really, it's actually disturbing in some ways to see how young the, the audience is that knows it's us. You know, whether it be in uh, at the concert or at airports or wherever, like in the street. It's um, but at the same time, it's so disturbing. It's actually really gratifying to think that we're still attracting like a younger generation. What is for you to play this song 35 years after the composition? Well, the most of them, um, most of the old Cure songs, I still, I am still able to connect with like who I was then. I think I was very old before my time, really. When I look back at the words that I wrote when I was at 17 years old, I think I was, um, I was probably older than I am now. You know. I actually feel less anguish <laughs> about living. You, you're touring with no new album this year. No. Yeah. Um, why? There are, there are a number of reasons. The main reason, the, the driving force behind us playing is really because I just wanted to play some shows. It doesn't matter. We're not signed to anyone and there is no new record, but it doesn't really matter. I just like, I like the idea of, of playing some shows. There are background reasons as to why we haven't played for a couple of years. When things happen outside, they have to be, um, they have to be lived, you know. I want the group to be something that everybody falls into and, and loves as much as I do. I don't want to force what we do. I don't want to get like young people in so I can go and sing people and release a new album, it, it's stupid, like, we've released enough m music, if I don't ever m release another album I'd still be happy, but I would, I would be happier if we bring out something new, but it, that it's, what we do shouldn't be contingent on something new, you know, we're, we're a group, we play music, I sing, you know, I just felt I wanted to sing this summer, so we didn't manage to get anything finished. For you, when you choose the songs to play, do you sing to your own pleasure or do you also sing to your fans? Um, this summer, I think, it's much more about the audience than it's ever been. Yeah, I'm very aware. The, the thing is, if we're given three hours to play, we can please everyone because we can play like 35, 37 songs. 
If you walk away from that and you, ha and you haven't heard what you want, <laughs> you're at the wrong fucking concert. You know? um, tonight was quite difficult because we were like less than two hours. It's like, um, which is why we did a, quite a strange set. Putting Love Cats and close to me in the set was about the audience. It was about the festival. You know, you sort of want to draw people in. I think. I mean, I've always felt that, but maybe when I was younger, I was a bit more um, difficult. <laughs> Time, I might say. I, I wanted my enjoyment to be paramount. It, it, I had to enjoy what we we're doing. Whereas now, there are moments when um, I can see the audience reacting to Friday I'm in love or Love Cats, and I think it's worth it because they're enjoying it, you know. So. I've kind of realised that other people's enjoyment is as important as mine. It sounds like some kind of fucking psychiatric session. <laughs>